Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today is part two of my whole house reorganization in preparation for baby two video. So I'm gonna show you the start of what my office looked like and the baby's room, which is currently a storage room or a dumping ground. And I will then show you sort of the progress. Um, neither room will be finished by the end of this video. This is just a progress kind of video to show you how I'm going. So I can only do little bits at a time at the moment just with the time that I've got in between all of the other things that I've got to do as a mum. I'm working, I work from home mum. Okay, so I'm going to start kind of in my office. I'm just going to show you what I need to do. A lot of the stuff that I've got to do around the house with decluttering and reorganising is not going to be something that I can just finish in one day. It's going to be like... I have to reorganize my office so that I can make space to get some stuff out of the front room and put it in here and then I'll have to rearrange the office again like put everything onto the shelves and that sort of stuff. So it's not going to be where I can just show you the room, declutter it, reorganize it and then show you what it's done afterwards. So this is it. Okay so I'll start, I'll just work my way around. So this is Rolly's golf umbrella which is normally in the golf bag so this is our Dyson which needs to be mounted wall mounted but um, I do need a PowerPoint put in this corner somewhere so that we can mount it for now it just lays on the floor so that I can charge it and this is all of the accessories for the vacuum cleaner like the wall mount and everything um, so that obviously will go when that gets mounted this is just our printing desk obviously the printer these are my work files um, a box of tissues just a spare box I haven't put them away these are items that got ruined in a um when i was on a plane like my bag yeah so that's a claim um that needs to be sorted out with virgin and then these are just bits of paper and books and things that need to be sorted or read or put away on bookshelves things like that and then this is my desk most of this stuff I use every day, so I just need to organize it and like, you know, all the fiddly bits and stuff, that's big, no big deal. And under here, I need to get some cable management happening, which will partly happen once this is mounted, and obviously that's my bin and a toy, random toy. Um, okay, coming around here. Oh, well, obviously, this is a tripod. This is another chest of drawers. There's not much in it, just some paperwork and pens and stuff. Um, and this is all of just bits and pieces and just my little filing cabinet section. Some booze from Christmas that we won it needs to go away. My carry-on suitcase that needs to be put away. And Rolly's sports gear. We're not going to talk about this cupboard. It's its whole own project. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So... We've recently just gotten a cot off my friend, so that is just sat outside the baby's room because there's nowhere in the baby's room for it to go. Normally the pram goes in there as well. These are some travel bits that needs to go be put away. So this is the room as it currently is. Photos that need to be rehung up since we've had um, the painting done. There's the ironing board, which will eventually go in the laundry. The clothes horse, which needs to be out because while we were away there was a storm and the neighbor's tree fell on our clothesline. These are new lights, so they need to go in my office. The actual vacuum is back behind there. This is the old door lock and mechanism. Some Max's toys, uh, you know, his scooter. The baby's side sleeper for the tea, um, for in our room. Um, this is self-explanatory. It's all our crafting bits and art bits and magazines and, and books and stuff like that that just needs to be cleared through and reorganized memory boxes photos that sort of stuff there's nothing behind there that can actually shift back about a meter but this is going out of this room then we've got a mirror over here and lots of just different artworks and things there's my christmas box that needs to be properly sorted out and then the same thing here there's lots of christmasy bits and cups and things and then there's just books under there some new book uh, boxes for storage um, I'm going to pack away some baby toys and things like that. That's just basically rubbish and a shelf that needs to go back hung up back in the kitchen now that it's been painted. These are serving things for, you know, like bowls and stuff like that that can go back in the kitchen. Um, and then this bookshelf here, and then this bookshelf here is books and cameras and things like that in there. So it's just a total mess. <laughs> okay, little progress for you. So here we go. I have cleared the top shelf off 
um, and gotten those things out I've started making piles so I've just moved things around that's the Christmas box this is a rubbish box um, more rubbish these are toys and things that will be all sorted out all right over here uh, kids books toys um, this one will be arts and crafts I think and this might be to donate this looks worse than I, when I started I have another box of rubbish which is all the stationery and coloring books and um, things that are finished. Okay, a little update. I was going to put my desk there, but when I put it over there, I realized there's no PowerPoint. I mean, I knew that, but I also thought I'd have a nice view, but actually, because there's missing bits and it might be a while before we fix that window, I don't want there to be a storm and then it rain on. I mean, it's such a slim chance, but if it rains on my computer and wrecks it, that would be bad. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just decided that I like it over the other side better. I've set up my studio lights, so hello. So um, yeah, they're good to go. So I've got that all organized. So the desk is staying there. Um, I've moved this chest over to here and this area is a work in progress. But we we're not worrying about that because in here, we've managed to get that bookshelf towards the back. Um, I have now received even more baby paraphernalia. This is actually going to be, Max has got one of these as well. It's a shark. It's really cute. It's going to be the dirty clothes basket or a toy basket or something like that. So anyway, today's job is to tackle. I'm going to get really serious about tackling all of this stuff. Oh, look at this little guy. He's so cute. So this is another one. Um, for the baby's room for when it's finally being decorated and look you pull it along and it plays How cute's that? This is my doTERRA essential oils collection, which I do want to find a nice display Spot these are all the books that go with it and all my information and the diffuser and stuff um, and then the, oh, yeah, here's all the storage um, all the boxes that have been filled up with toys and things and ready for rotation and then the next job will be this bookshelf and hopefully I can consolidate the two into one and then have maybe the books at the bottom and then just use these glass the sections above as display in my office okay so it is a Monday morning I am just about to actually I've already been working this morning I've already dropped Max off at daycare Oh, it's 20 to 10 actually. I have done a little bit of work and I'm just taking a small break to make a cup of tea or something. I thought I would show you. I've made a little bit more progress. So the baby change table is in. We had that dropped off. It's our one that we lent to a friend who um, had a baby. So we've got that back. Um, this is new. Okay, well, it's not new. It's from Kate. That's my side sleeper that will be set up on the, um, on my bed. Um, you know down the track. It's just got the baby clothes that need to be sorted through the bumbo that I got back and Kate also gave me two packets of newborn nappies that her little one grew out of. Three boxes of toys and crafty stuff. There's a cot from Kate and Gary that we will set up and it will probably go in this corner when this bookshelf's gone. Um, yep yeah, and then all of this is as per normal. I'm under strict instructions from Rolly that I'm not to move anything heavy so I'm not allowed to move that box of books he will move it for me and then I can unpack it into the book back into the bookshelf so I only just put them in there so that I don't have to do piles and piles of back and forth um yeah so it's looking it's like uh worse before it gets better but it is getting there I feel like I kind of know what needs to happen it's just a matter of finding five or ten minutes here and I have to admit in this heat and with my belly sometimes I do you know 20 minutes or half an hour and that's all I can manage and that sounds it actually that sounds really bad but it actually is and it's really bothering me but I'm even getting puffed out just because I've been um, talking <laughs> I don't know uh, the baby is just squashing everything <laughs> and anyway so I've made a little bit more progress with um, the two rooms my office and the new baby's room um, Rolly's been helping me a little bit with moving some of the heavier stuff and there are still a few little things that we need to do But I'm really happy with the progress in the next week or so. We'll have even more done um, So yeah, let me show you where we're at. This is my office. So Finally everything is in the bookshelf um, We've got just my two lights and I got rid of all the wine. I've now got my 
oil diffuser. My desk is all nice and clean. This is a new addition. So I've got all my oils out on display, which I'm very happy about because it means that I'll remember to use them. And I have to say, where is it? My tea tree oil is getting a real workout at the moment. Because it's been rainy, we have so many mozzies. Um, and I also got this little box here. Um, which has got my cat, my, my SLR camera, my DSLR camera and some stationery. It's a working desk. I'm not going to be able to do too much. I need my work files and stuff out. So that means that that needs to go back to its rightful owner. And here's some mail and things for Rolly. That means that this shelving unit is um, almost completely empty now. So we need to either get someone to restore it for us or perhaps sell it on eBay. It is so lovely though. I don't really want to get rid of it. Yeah, we just don't really have a use for it. And the drawers tend to like stick and it doesn't really hold a lot. So it's more just because it's pretty that we would keep it rather than usefulness. Um, and we also have the electrician booked in. Finally, finally, um, next week, we're going to get this vacuum cleaner off the floor and hung here so we're getting a powerpoint put in down below which should be easy because there's already the powerpoint the light switch there so we'll get the powerpoint put in and we'll hang the vacuum cleaner up so it's ready to go whenever we need it so though that means that that and that box will go so yeah overall i'm really happy with how this office is coming along so the next thing is the baby's room and i went through the laundry um over the weekend i went through roughly 10 boxes it worked out to be of uh, 10 nappy boxes worth of baby clothes that needed to be sorted through and washed or there was a lot of stuff that I donated so I've done two full loads of washing and I still have about three more loads to do um, so th let me show you the cot is now in these are the artworks that I've decided to um, hang in the baby's room this is one that my friend Lisa painted and I actually painted that one, the flamingo. So I thought I would hang those in here. That, that would be really nice. Um, these are clothes that are, this needs to be gone through actually. I found another box. Um, but these are size one and zero. So I won't need these until next year. Um, over here I've got the change table. This is the um, pile of socks and things that I've washed that need to be gone through and a few presents and this is a bag that I'm still filling up with things that I've decided to donate after all. Here's the, all the clean things. Because I don't have a baby wardrobe just yet, I've just put all the clean things in piles on the change table which will eventually go into a little wardrobe. So like, for example, like look at all those, that pile of singlets, like that's ridiculous. And this is all, yeah, it's all like things that'll fit four zeros up to two zeros. So the first six months. So all lots of long sleeve onesies and things for winter and, and stuff like that. And this box is, I'm going to go through it all again because even though like that's two loads worth of washing and I still have three more to do. That's going to be way too many clothes that I can handle for one baby. So my sister's having a boy as well, so I'm going to give her a box of clothes. So we've got the bouncer, which will go out into the lounge room at some point, and this little crib. I'm not sure exactly if we will use this, but this will come out of this room and go into probably the lounge room or something like that, just when the baby's having a wake time, so he can have a little safe little spot to go. Um, because the reason being that I won't use that is that I have this thing which is a side sleeper if it's like safe co-sleeping for the first six months and then he'll go into here so the cot will actually not stay there once and i'll show you here once we go through all of this again um, the cot will probably go over into this corner so the vacuum cleaner can now go and be stored in the laundry which is great all of these boxes are all basically empty now these are like warranties i think i've explained all of that so that this will go as will the ironing board these are all the toys and art and craft things that we're keeping. That's just to keep the toy rotation so that Max isn't overwhelmed with the toys that he has. Like an attachment, it's like a seat that goes on the pram. So that'll go in the car at some point once the baby is here. And as you know, this is the shark bin. That'll be the dirty clothes basket. Um, just a few clothes and things to go through, Rolly's laptop, and this chest will be going out. So this room still looks a shambles, but as you can see, like, things are just waiting for their right time to go to their right spots and be hung and things like that. So we will get there. We're going to make a trip to Ikea soon um, to get a little baby wardrobe. And, yeah, there's a few things that just need to still happen, but um, it's not quite the right time for it. So that is where we're at at the moment. I know it probably doesn't look it, but 
when in real life it feels like a huge improvement into decluttering and going through and organizing our rooms so that they work a little bit better um, and yeah I feel really happy with this with the progress that we've made so far there was a lot to do and a lot of little moving parts that needed to come into play um, for us to finish or get a real big chunk of the organizing happening so I'm, I'm really happy with how it's starting to come together It'll only be a few more weeks and everything will be just the way I want it. So I'm really happy for that. Um, yeah, and if you haven't seen my suitcase project already, you'll see that I also have been through my whole wardrobe um, and filled up a suitcase with clothes of mine that I don't wear anymore or didn't want anymore. Um, things that don't fit me or won't fit me or that I won't wear once I'm post breastfeeding. Also some maternity things that were no longer suitable and also all of those baby clothes I did manage to fill out almost half of the suitcase was with baby clothes so I took them to the RSPCA op shop and they were really happy to receive all of that um, yeah so I've also I'll link that video here as well because um, I just recently posted that so I have been a, a busy little bee um, when I've had the chance so Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, I would absolutely love that. Um, stay up to stay updated on my pregnancy journey and our slow living family philosophy. Um, and yeah, anyway, have a lovely day and thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.